Hi, good morning, everybody, and it's a thrill to be here. I represent the Adult Congenital Heart Association. We are the um, only national advocacy organization directed to adults only. We're located in Philadelphia. We started in 1998 by two young adults who saw the need for support uh, across the world or across the United States, but also across the world via the internet and telephone, and so that's how we got started. This is our mission. Um, we are here to help to improve and extend the lives of the millions born with heart defects through these areas, education, advocacy, and the promotion of research. Uh, I'm gonna just show you a quick slide of some of our programs. There they are. Um, and then I have a table in the room where the food is, so please stop by and I can tell you, give you more information. Um, we have a lot of things going on. We have educational resources, both online and printed. We have monthly webinars on timely and educational topics. We just had one last week on tetralogy. We have one on uh, pulmonary hypertension the Monday after Thanksgiving. And we end the year with one on uh, pacemakers and ICDs. And uh, they're done by the ACHD professional community who are volunteers for us. Um, some of this literature is at my table. I just want to point out two other things. The legislative conference, we advocate in D.C. every single year. This is an extremely important year for us. We are asking for funding for surveillance and research in the field of congenital cardiology. We do this with um, other organizations as well. Um, and uh, because, of, of, because of the uncertainty, we're not sure that the Affordable Care Act will get reauthorized, and we need your support. Even if you cannot come, you can do a grassroots and do things from home. See me, talk to me about it. And the last thing that I'll point out before I turn this over is our eighth national conference. Um, we, got, we, we sort of got canceled out by Hurricane Matthew. He decided to arrive on the day that our conference was scheduled. There were 500 people coming to Orlando. So if you didn't get a chance to register, it's not too late to register. It's on June 2nd through 3rd back in Orlando. Check out our website. Um, our membership is free. We need your voice. We need every voice in this room. Uh, to get the job done for the adults with CHD. I hope to see everybody at the table. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Randy Zimmerman. I'm here to uh, represent the uh, Marfin Foundation. Uh, we do have a table here in the room with some material as well. And I just wanted to give you a quick update of a couple of things that we have coming up, which is the regional symposium on December the 2nd <laughs> at the United Way here in Houston, and that will be Saturday, December the 3rd from 7 to 4. And then we have our second annual Heart Walk coming up on March the 25th, and we will have a kickoff party at Dave & Buster's on January 21st. Um, we really thank Methodist for putting this on, and we have a little video to show here. Sweet. Thank you. Listen, we just had a wonderful day in Houston. Team Dream again. Marfan Foundation showed up and showed out. We done raised over 130,000. First annual Marfan Walk. Today we're hosting the first annual Walk for Victory. And our, our hope today is just to continue to raise money for the Marfan Foundation, create awareness, and also bring the Marfan community together like never before. The walk was overwhelming, really. I mean, ever since we started this a couple months ago, we have been welcomed with open arms from everyone at the Marfan Foundation, and it's just amazing to see just what we, what we accomplished. So we're all gathered here just to support everyone in the Marfan community. Our daughter was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome, so we came out here for that purpose and to also increase awareness around anyone that we know in the community. You know, it's really all about awareness. I mean, it's bringing the families together, but then you have everybody who's out here in the community saying, hey, what's going on? And then they learn about Marfan syndrome-related disorders. I go to a lot of Houston Texan events, and um, I do a lot of different charities and stuff like that, and I thought no better way to start it than to do one for my son. And I want to do nothing more than to raise money for the Marfan Foundation, and that's why we're here today. We're walking, supporting, raising awareness. Ever since I was diagnosed with Marfan syndrome, I really wanted to connect the community of Houston together. I met so many teens that have never met anyone else with Marfan syndrome, and they're to the age of 15, 16. I just thought that was crazy. I think everybody needs support, and everybody needs somebody to lean on. You know, it's a Mar family, just like we talk about. I meet moms from all over that are going through the same things that I've gone through as well. 
We need that support, and I'm very grateful for it. Man, we're here in Houston, Texas, and I'm so excited to watch the Mar Fan Walk. Sun's out, getting a tan, walking for a good cause. I think it's critically important that we get involved. Most people think they're alone, think they're isolated, think there's not other people like that. There's more people out there, and these events allow people to connect, and I think it just allows that opportunity that's not gonna happen just by chance. Shout out to Owen Gray, his family, the fans, the Warriors, everybody. Great turnout, love the energy, let's go. Dream again. <laughs> Get out there and walk. I can get more. I can get even more. Trust me. This is just that's just a bare minimum. I, I mean, I'll go all out right now. OK, you really want me to? Good morning. My name's Rachel Wright and I'm the executive director for Heart Gift Houston. And we are a nonprofit um, that brings children from around the world with congenitive heart disease here to Houston for life saving heart surgery. We partner locally with Children's Memorial Herman Hospital and UT Health. And currently in Houston, we're bringing six children a year to Houston for surgery. Um, the children come from literally all over the world. This year we saw children from South America, Central America, Africa, and Asia, um, all who came to Houston. Each child stays and is partnered with a host family. They stay in a home, and that family is their support system while they're here. Sometimes pairing them in a home can be interesting depending on the language that's spoken um, by the family coming. So if you know, if you have friends locally who speak um, Somali, you really need to see me. Um, <laughs> I'll just <laughs> sneak that in there. Um, as we have a little girl coming from Kenya in January, with her mother and they speak Somali. But I would love for you to stop by and see me, but not just um, not just chat with me. Fill out a little card, tell me how you can be involved. We um, love to have volunteers who can come to the hospital and sit with mom. Um, many of you have sat those hours, you know what that's like. Um, so imagine doing that in a different country um, on your own. Um, you can come to the airport and welcome patients my dad had Tetralogy, and he's come to the airport several times. And when he shows that mom his scar and he says, but I'm an old man and I have grandkids, it really means a lot and gives a lot of hope to that mom who really doesn't know what tomorrow um, is like. They just know they need to come here and they need their child needs to have this surgery. So I think there's a lot of things that this group can do to help heart gift and engage with children walking a path that many of you have walked. Thank you so much. Good morning. My name is Mary Turner. I'm the president and CEO of Therapeutic Professionals. And I have been with the American Heart Association teaching their courses a little over 30 years. And I have a quick question for you. If an emergency were to strike right now, would you know what to do? Okay, well, good. Some of you do. <laughs> so this uh, morning, we'll be doing hands-only CPR demonstrations up on the fifth floor. 85% of cardiovascular emergencies happen at home. And sadly, in most homes, there is not even one individual trained in the life-saving skills of CPR. And you know, every day is a very busy day, and there's more things to do than hours to get it done. And because CPR is one of those things that you need right then in the moment, it's not something we often prepare for. It's one day I'm going to do it. We all have the it won't happen to me syndrome. So uh, what I want to do today is encourage you to just learn how to do hands-only CPR. And if that interests you, then take a full-blown certification course because Ultimately, it's the four to six minutes while you're waiting on the paramedics in that emergency, while you're in panic mode, you could really be doing something to buy that person time. And it ultimately determines the quality of their life. And so American Heart Association has asked me to come out today and offer the hands-only demonstration. And we have mannequins up on the fifth floor. I look forward to seeing you there then. Thank you. Hello, my name is Anne Fontenot. Shout out to my cousin that I'm going to meet after this. Uh, 
and I'm uh, a volunteer. I'm president of the Down Syndrome Association of Houston. I have a 15-year-old daughter um, with Down Syndrome. Uh, we are a lifespan organization. We provide uh, information. We say we're pro-information. We want everyone to come to us. We provide up-to-date, unbiased, accurate information um, from prenatal counseling, th counseling through um, the lifespan. And two of our national groups um, got together and formed a Down Syndrome consensus group because what is accurate, up-to-date, unbiased information? So the National Society of Genetic Counselors, American College of Medical Genetics, and the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists um, got together and they um, have a book, Understanding uh, Down Syndrome Diagnosis. So we can all go to this um, professionals and uh, volunteers with our group and um, provide confidential um, approved uh, information. So I want to let everyone know that there are also videos for physicians and medical professionals on how to deliver the diagnosis, which there have been studies that found physicians are uncomfortable. And ha if you haven't been trained on how to do that in a, in a sensitive way, um, it can be very problematic for families. One of our programs is a new baby gift basket where families themselves or medical professionals can contact our group and with permission we'll go to the hospital. Oftentimes mom has been released but um, the baby is still um, receiving medical care and we can we actually bring it to the hospital, answer any questions and we say, you know, we're here for you to answer any questions. The other thing we do, and I would encourage whatever um, diagnosis you may have, especially in Texas, we have what are called waiver programs, and they ha are called interest lists that are waiting lists. There's no one group legally responsible for telling families that there's a waiting list and you need to call and put your child's name on it. So the shortest list is the medically dependent children's program list here in Texas. You don't have to qualify to get on the list. So if there's any, any issue, um, that is the list to get on, and there are other waiver program lists that you can see me at the table if you're interested. We, have, we provide direct programs as well as support and refer um, folks to community resources. And uh, we have an adult program for folks after they finish high school. And we're working very hard to change um, the climate here in Texas to help um, folks with disabilities with education and medical care. So I'll be happy to answer any questions. We have over 2,000 members. We just had our, our buddy walk last weekend, um, and we had about five to 7,000 people. So uh, thank you very much. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Emily with Mended Little Hearts of Houston, and um, we are here in Houston to um, help families that have children born with congenital heart defects um, meet each other and find support. Um, I know a lot of you out here have said you're, you're heart moms and dads, and it is a really scary, lonely place to be at first. So finding other families that, um, that have been in the same position as you, been in your shoes, is a really neat thing to find. It's, it's like finding a whole new family. Um, Oh, did you? 25 years ago. Yeah, we, we are, uh, Mended Little Hearts is actually a national organization, and we have over 90 chapters around the United States. So it's, it really is a, yeah, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? So we, um, so, you know, our mission really is peer-to-peer -peer support, um, support of families, and um, it was neat hearing what um, the last presenter said. Our biggest program is called the Bravery Bags. Um, and what we do with the Bravery Bags is each family, um, with tech, we partner with Texas Children's and Children's Memorial Hermann. Um, when you go through open heart surgery, you'll get a special Bravery Bag. Um, and in that is our Mended Little Heart Guide, which is filled with incredible information about taking care of your child, taking care of yourself, learning new terms. Because a lot of us, before this happened, probably didn't even know what a congenital heart defect was until, oh my goodness, 
I just had an ultrasound and, and I found out there's an issue. So um, it really is a lot of information to take in. So we've got that great guide and we would like to invite you all to our superhero heart run. It is so fun. It is um, February 26th. I got it right this time. <laughs> um, and everyone who comes out and registers gets a free superhero cape. And of course, our heart warriors get a really super awesome cape. Um, and this is actually one of the ways that adult with CHD can help us. Um, me, as a mom of an eight-year-old that meets someone that's 30, that's thriving and happy and has a job, is really amazing to see. And I think that if we can all come together and maybe have the adults out at these kind of events, it would be be pretty awesome for parents and little kids to look up to um, to you adult superheroes. So we hope you guys join us. Thanks, guys.